Hi, my name is Saeed Aslam. I'm with Alishan Fine Rugs and today we are talking about the latest trends in handmade rugs. The very first thing that I want to clarify is that a lot of times people assume that contemporary means modern rugs like computer generated designs and circles and squares and contemporary just basically means the contemporary, the, the designs of our time, the designs that are being done now. So majority of the contemporary designs, some of them are computer generated type, you know, very, very hardcore modern, but very transitional designs that are traditional but transitional or, con you know, modern but transitional are truly the largest segment of the contemporary designs in our market right now. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. The stack that I'm standing next to is our contemporary stack, so to speak. And within that, there are kind of modern ones and then more transitional ones. So here's an example of a transitional uh, within contemporary styles because this rug is using very, very traditional motifs and it has kind of an erased technique uh, that imagine a hundred year old Persian rug that was made with natural dyes and because it's an antique that part of its design uh, got missing. Maybe grandma had a rug that you saw that was like that. So this is a brand new rug but, they're tr but it, they've made it to kind of look like that, to kind of look like uh, that erased uh, antique along with using uh, very traditional motifs, but simplifying them, taking away the big center medallion and the cuts on the side and all that, and also using very, very contemporary colors. So again, that's the epitome of a transitional rug uh, because of the elements that it is used, which is kind of modern as well as kind of traditional. So, um, go ahead. Uh, this is another one. This one we got designed. Uh, again, we uh, designed it after a 5,000 year old a civilization called the Sumerian civilization and this one uh, definitely is a contemporary design again not exactly modern or traditional just a design from our times um, this is more modern so you can see that the elements are just uh, more linear and so uh, contemporary to me uh, but on the modern side and this is another example of transitional. A lot of the rugs that we have are transitional instead of being hardcore modern, just simply because I think that they're more uh, timeless, you know, that you won't, you, you won't uh, just want to give them away in five years, that you'll love them for the rest of your life. So this again is an example where these, uh, this is kind of called the ICAT design or ICAT as it's uh, in its uh, actual pronunciation. And these motifs that this rug is made of are, are again very traditional motifs but you'll see them in the very traditional Persian rugs kind of in smaller size with a whole bunch of other motifs and a medallion and all that well they took away all that took the same motifs rearranged them in contemporary manner as well as in very contemporary colors these colors are really in right now and are very contemporary so that again is a wonderful example of a transitional design um, again more modern we call it kind of like a color splash so uh, contemporary um, and not as uh, transitional um, again an epitome of a transitional rug truly very very traditional motifs arranged in a very contemporary manner and again that's uh, it is technique where part of the design is kind of missing and part of the design is in a different color uh, so they're trying to emulate a very very old Persian rug and taking uh, very traditional Persian uh, design elements, uh, motifs, and arranging them in contemporary design as well as in contemporary colors. I love rugs like this. You know, the biggest advantage with them is that you can do anything around them. If you go hardcore modern and hardcore Persian, and uh, traditional, I mean, and I've done magnificent homes with both, but they kind of box you in in one type of decor. The advantage with the transitional rugs is that anything you put around them, whether it's Victorian or Tuscan or modern or traditional or antique, it all works with them and works with them beautifully. Um, this is another example of transitional one. Again, very tribal motifs, literally motifs from ancient tribal rugs, but rearranged in a more contemporary manner. And they also kind of made it uh, a little more geometric looking, so I love that because it gives it a very kind of tribal but contemporary look. Um, again, this one is wool and silk and traditional motifs. Again, exactly the same thing arranged in a transitional manner. Um, again, transitional rug. 
and contemporary, just contemporary, just a random design. And I like the fact that there is no symmetry in this design. It's just, you know, very, very uh, random. And again, epitome of a transitional rug, very, very tribal motifs. You'll see each one of these motifs in something like a Turkmani Bukhara that originated, of, you know, seven, eight hundred years ago, and they've rearranged it in a contemporary manner. Um, that erase technique that I was talking about to emulate antiques is really shown beautifully here. It's like a brand new rug that is trying to emulate a hundred year old rug, but in contemporary colors. Go ahead, please. Uh, modern. And these are gorgeous and beautiful, but I think that they'll get dated more easily. Go ahead, please. Modern again. Um, a very tribal nomadic uh, design that was or that was called uh, is called uh, gabe that originated in ancient persia hundreds of years ago but they've just redone that in a very modern uh, uh, design um, again this is made out of sari silk and these are more delicate they are not meant for high traffic areas but again a more contemporary design and the erase technique again um, another example of the beautiful randomness in that design as well as very very traditional motifs but they've taken basically one design element and repeated it and gave it a very transitional look using very traditional motifs i love stuff like that in case you couldn't tell um, again a magnificent example of transitional rug very very traditional design in the background but the colors and the erase technique has made it um, uh, more contemporary and they've also kind of done like a, this uh, scribbling thing on top of it which has made it very nice. Go ahead, please. Um, again an iCat. iCats are usually or ikat are usually a great example of uh, contemporary uh, uh, designs made with traditional motifs. Um, another one very transitional one. Now I think I've uh, and then this is the color splash that I was talking about. I think I've given you enough examples of uh, the contemporary transitional designs within the uh, our contemporary stacks and now I'm gonna switch to the traditional designs that are traditional tribal as well as transitional. So within the tra traditional designs there are transitional ones also. So and I'm here today to talk to you about different styles of rugs not only the traditional and the tribal rugs that you probably have seen around for a long time that grandma used to have, but also more contemporary designs. And uh, one thing I wanna clarify is that a lot of people assume that contemporary means modern. And to me, contemporary just means the styles that are being made in our time. Uh, they could be a very contemporary version of traditional designs, which are transitional, and very contemporary version of uh, other type of designs that are just more, uh, they, they are new, they are being done now, they were never done before. And that to me is the definition of contemporary instead of just computer generated hardcore squares and circles and triangles and things like that. So this rug on the very top here is an example of a very transitional design within the traditional family. What I mean by that is if you notice that it has a lot of motifs that you'll find in very traditional rugs in smaller sizes with a whole bunch of other motifs with the center medallion, the cuts on the side and, and uh, a lot more intricacy. But they've simplified that. They've taken away a lot of the other elements, taken some motifs, enlarged them and then redone them not only in a contemporary uh, arrangement of the design but also in contemporary colors. So it is the epitome of a transitional rug in my opinion. Uh, this here is a magnificent example of a transitional rug. These motifs are found in very traditional Persian rugs from Kashan and Tabriz and Isfahan and again they've done exactly the same thing that I described before, enlarged them taken away majority of the other motifs, arranged them in a contemporary manner as well as in contemporary colors. One of the advantages of these transitional rugs, whether they are transitional in the traditional family or transitional in the modern contemporary family, the advantage is that they don't box you in. You're not, you're not just uh, stuck on doing only traditional decor or only modern decor. You could literally do anything around these traditional rugs, whether it's, you know, 
Tuscan or modern or, or antique or traditional or Victorian or you name it, and it works beautifully with them. And that versatility really, really comes in handy when you're decorating your home. You know, you fall in love with a painting and all of a sudden the versatility of the rug makes it very easy to, for you to work with different paintings, pillows, you know, accessories and things like that. Um, this is an example of a very tribal traditional rug. Uh, tribal geometric design that originated centuries ago in ancient Persia called a uh, Hariz design. Um, this is a very tribal design called a Shirvan and very high end tribal design with hand spun wool and natural dyes. But again, they made a beautiful transitional version of that tribal design. It does not have the typical uh, uh, elements that you'd see in tribal rugs like the Haris had before it. It is more taking those certain elements of the tribal motifs, of the overall tribal design, and then repeating them rather than taking a whole bunch of different elements and trying to put them together and arranging them in a more contemporary design, but still with traditional color. So that's a very transitional tribal rug to me. Um, traditional rug. Now, there is kind of a transitionalness to this, although very traditional uh, colors and very traditional motifs, but they still simplified it. In the industry, we call it an all-over traditional design, which basically means that instead of having a medallion and all that, it is an, just an all-over design, which is uh, one thing that really helps with that is if you're using it in a family room or a living room, um, it does not restrict you on either having to put the ottoman or coffee table in the center because the medallion, a very distinct medallion, is in the center. Um, so it just has more versatility um, within the traditional styles. Um, the next one is again, this is a wool and silk from India. Uh, the design is uh, silk and the background is wool and the carving on this is beautiful. It gives it a two-dimensional look because the silk part is left higher than the wool. And this is also a simplified version of a traditional design called the all-over design. And this next one here is again as epitome of a tribal rug. These designs have been around for centuries. A very um, unusual aspect of the very geometric tribal rugs, although they are even more ancient than the traditional floral ones because they were the first rugs to come about. Um, the, ge the geometric one, the tribal ones, have a tendency to even work in some modern contemporary decors. Uh, I know that may sound like a contradiction, but you'll, you'll see some uh, contemporary elements, some contemporary decor, and then a traditional geometric rug is used within that. And it's just beautiful if it is done right. Not easy to do it right, but if it is done right, it is absolutely uh, wonderful. Um, the next one is a Sherwan. Again, uh, traditional colors, traditional uh, design, but without a lot of the deep, detailed intricacy, and I think a little more transitional within the traditional family of rugs, or within the tribal family of rugs. This is a epitome of a traditional rug, a silk from India. And the next one is a Persian Nain which is about as traditional as it can possibly get. Absolutely wonderful and magnificent. And I don't mean to say that one should not use traditional rugs or one should not use modern rugs. I just prefer the more transitional ones because their versatility really helps uh, in decorating now and when you're adding elements in the future. Um, again, an extremely traditional rug. Um, around for centuries, and now this is an example of more transitional within the traditional stuff. I think that's enough for all the traditional tribal and transitional ones.